Now some people on Christmas Day would argue that the turkey or the beef is the most important part, but I think the one collective that everybody agrees on is that it has to have the best roast potatoes as a major part of your Christmas Day dinner. Now, this method for roasting potatoes is one that you should use on Christmas Day and every Sunday for the rest of your life. You start off with, funnily enough, potatoes. Now, this is a red juke potato. You could use a Maris Piper. That's probably more readily available. Avoid using those washed big baking potatoes that you get in supermarkets. They're just really big, quite clumsy. They contain loads of water. There's not much in the way of flavor in them either. You want that kind of perfect balance between starchy potato and sugars that make them caramelize and go nice and golden. Maris Piper, red juke, really good. And whilst I'm peeling the potato, I've got a pan of water coming up to the boil that's been salted. So that's the only time that you're gonna be able to get salt into the potato. So once you've got your potatoes peeled, we need to cut them. Now you wanna cut them up about the same size so that they all cook evenly and at the same time, around about in half. As they cook, they will shrink, okay? There is moisture content in them. And as they're cooking away, that will evaporate and disappear and they'll shrink down. So all the potatoes are now same size. And I'm gonna drop these into the pan of boiling salted water, okay? Now, I know lots of you have done roast potatoes and have been doing it for years and years and years, and I'm pretty certain that you'll have a method where you cook them for about five minutes, like on a really rapid, hard, fast boil. Then you drain them, put the lid on the pan, and you shake it, all right? Well, that, as a method, is okay, but it's the wrong one. Stop doing that. This pan of water is going to come up to a gentle simmer. I'm going to cook these potatoes all the way through, okay? So these potatoes have been sat in salted water, bubbling away for around about 20 minutes. Now, what you want to do, is get yourself a slotted spoon, and gently remove each potato. Put it onto one of these cooling racks, okay? On a tray. And you can see already, straight away, they're beginning to dry up. They steam dry. That is where you're gonna get those lovely, crispy, crunchy bits all around the outside. And the point of drying it means that it'll absorb and fry in the tray with oil much quicker and much more efficiently. So you can see here where it's steaming and drying up, it forms this kind of crust and a skin. And that skin is the crispy bit. I'm just going to fry them up and make them crispy and it's much easier to make crispy and they've got this lovely kind of dried outer skin on them. Been there for about five minutes and that's fine. Here in my oven it's preheated 210 degrees and then here is my roasting tray. This has been sat in that 210 degree oven for around about 20 minutes okay so this tray is now hot. You can use duck fat, you can use goose fat if you want but I like to use veg oil or coke because it's clean, it's crisp and it's flavorless. Quite a bit as well, all right? Don't be shy. It's really important. You're almost gonna be like frying and roasting at the same time. Gently pick up your potatoes and put them into the pan and you can hear it already fizzing and cooking and frying. Don't pack it too tightly, okay? Because the tighter you pack it, the more steam it creates. The more steam equals moisture and that's a lot harder to make crispy. So the potatoes go back into the oven now, 210 degrees for around about 15 minutes. And at this point, you can see them beginning to crisp up, got some color on them. Just turn them around, and let that oil kind of get all over them. You can see that where it was dried and it separated, came away from the potato. This is all the crispy bits. You need to, little bit more oil, back in the oven. Another 10 to 15 minutes. And those guys should be ready. I mean, you can hear from it. Crispy, crunchy. At this point, little sprinkling of rock salt. You can hear the salt landing on, it's bouncing, it's crunchy. You know that these potatoes, look, look at that. Crispy, crunchy, it's gonna be soft in the middle. The ultimate roast potato plus one left for me, chef's treats, without boiling them in a pan with a lid on and shaking it. Once you've done it this way, that's it forever. 